Yes, Scott McCall can kill in Teen Wolf. What's up guys, it's Jade's Corner back with another brand new video. Once again, we're here to talk about more Teen Wolf. So we're back with the regular uploads, the regular type of videos that I usually do that are, we're taking a little break from Teen Wolf the movie because there's not that much information coming out right now that's really worth making a video on. Aside from maybe doing reshoots, but I kind of made a community tab post on that and like three almost 300 of you guys saw that and liked it so uh yeah i'm probably not gonna make a video on that but we're back with the regular uploads we're gonna do uh what if videos and all that type of stuff it's coming back all in september so hopefully you guys are excited for that in today's video we're gonna be basically talking about a very and very important topic in the team Wolf community that people still ask to this day even though i've clarified this in numerous comment sections and i've gotten this question mainly mostly on my alpha different type of alphas explain video which is almost at a hundred hundred and fifty thousand views crazy thank you guys for the love and support on that video that video is one of the best videos i ever made and i literally remember making that video sitting right here in my studio writing the script for that uh, so yeah thank you i'm so glad that video is doing well too also shout out to you guys for getting my werewolf or were creature eye guide video to almost 30 i think it's at thirty thousand views right now the one that i posted last month you guys are absolutely amazing i love you guys so thank you for that i greatly greatly appreciate all the support so yes in today's video we're going to be answering the question that hundreds I'm, and i'm talking about literally hundreds of people have been asking me all summer can scott mccall kill and still keep his alpha status to simply can this is exemplified in the first episode where scott mccall becomes a true alpha in lunar ellipse so when scott breaks through the mountain ash barrier and people be i'm gonna make another video on this too because people be like scott mccall is different from other werewolves and he's strong because he broke through the mountain ash barrier no he's not nothing scott has ever done in the series sets him apart from any other alpha we've seen literally the mountain ash thing was literally his using his own willpower to ascend himself into being a true alpha that's why he was able to do it for that one time and that one time only clearly in season five when scott was like oh i was able to do this before why can't i do it again very obvious why he couldn't do it again because that was a one-time thing it was only for him to ascend himself into that true alpha status so yeah um, i'm gonna make a separate video on that too in september because that's another question a bunch of people ask me that i want to clarify for the community as well in this video we're staying on one sp one specific subject and it's going to be short i'm not going to make this video too long scott can definitely still kill and be an alpha and he says this without worrying about his eye color changing and i'm also going to touch on that too because people be like well, that means his eye color is gonna revert back to the beta, the beta yellow, or the beta and omega blue. That's not what that's not what that means whatsoever. Obviously, when Scott breaks through the mountain ash barrier when he's trying to get to Jennifer Blake and Lunar Ellipse, it's just well after the full power Deucalion stuff and the fight with Deucalion. Scott stands over Jennifer Blake and of course tells her that he's an alpha now and that she needs to make the storm stop. And if she doesn't, he's gonna kill her. He doesn't care what it does to the color of his eyes. That clip solidifies Scott being able to kill without his true alpha eyes. The reason why he said, I don't care what it color does to the color of my eyes. If Scott were to ever lose his true alpha status and he kills someone, his eyes would revert back. They would revert to the same blue eyes that Derek and Peter have. Now this is only given if he kills an innocent person. I've gone over what killing an innocent person means in my werewolf eye guy video. Links to that will be in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. There will also be a pin card right here to that video as well if you guys want to check it out too. He wasn't referring to his alpha eyes. He was referring to his eyes if he were to ever lose his true alpha status, which we all know the only way Sky is able to lose his true alpha status is if he is killed or if the power is taken from him in some way by Liam or Hayden because those are the only two betas of his own making it's why Belasco wasn't able to take his powers it's why peter even though the even though he thought he could i don't know what type of weird writing decision that was i'll probably go over that in a separate video too it's why theo wasn't able to take his power on top of him not actually being a supernatural so he wouldn't be able to become an alpha anyway but yeah it's why multiple characters weren't able to take his power even though they all claimed he could yes scott mccall can kill and still keep his alpha eyes he threatened to kill numerous people on the series jennifer blake being the first one and people are also under the impression that oh well but if scott kills wouldn't he automatically 
exactly lose his true alpha status? No. Scott only couldn't kill before he became a true alpha. The reason why he couldn't kill before he became a true alpha is because it would automatically make his true alpha status null and void, at least him being touted as the, this generation's true alpha. Scott, basically, if like if he were to kill an innocent person, his chances of becoming a true alpha before he, be, before he actually became one would have been toast, for sure, like without question. Once he finally achieved that true alpha status, Scott can kill anybody he wants because he, he already got to that point. You understand what I'm saying? Once Scott got the, the true alpha status, he can kill anybody he wants. The only thing that would happen is his eyes, if he ends up killing an innocent person, of course, would change from the gold to the blue. That's basically clarifying what that whole little debate situation is. And hopefully that answered your guys' questions and concerns you guys had about that. If you guys enjoyed this video though, make sure you leave a like as mentioned at the start of this video. Make sure you guys also subscribe to the channel. And when you do hit that bell icon for me and say notifications to all so that you never miss a future upload from me. Without further ado, I'm Jade Corner. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. Without further ado, I'm Jade Corner. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. I will try to answer it as best as I could. And I'll catch you guys in the next Team Wolf video. Peace.